In June 2021, the world was in awe when Shelly Ann Fraser Price ran her first sub 10 7 clocking of her career. And what at the moment felt like a once in a generation moment spiraled into so many things that's easing and eventually to this season, where she is now destroying records everywhere she goes. She has broken four meet records, equaled her national championship record, then broke the championship record at the world champs. To add to that, she has run as much as five sub 10 7 clocking so far this season, and that's from eight races so that 62% of her races are 10.6 clockings. That is an unbelievable feat, one that no other female in history has ever done, which is a testament of her greatness and consistency as an elite level sprinter. The crazy thing about it is that she ran those times in different conditions, which as we know affect the 100 meters result time more than any other event. And it is why the 100 meters is the most difficult event to be consistent with a certain time. She ran it on different types of tracks, high and low altitude, strong fields, weak fields, and both positive and negative wind. It is crazy when you analyze it. It's as if she is programmed to break the 10.7 barrier at every event she attends. Shelly Ann is now the queen of sub-11 and sub-10-7 with an eventual goal of break to the 10.6 barrier. And given how she is running only a year after going under 10.7, who knows how many times she may run 10.5 seconds. The other thing is that her race pattern remains the same, meaning it's perfect execution each and every time she competes. There is little flaw to her race anymore. She is ahead almost every time from the very first step to the last. She simply can't lose in a 100 meters race right now. According to the race analysis provided, we see a Fraser Price who does not lose much speed. Comparing the splits from the 2019 version of Fraser Price to this one, she has gotten better significantly in the last 20 meters, making an adjustment of almost a full tenth of second. So however we look on it, there was a 30 plus year old legend who was considering if she could make it to Paris a year ago. And now it feels like there is a brand new sprinter destroying records every time she is on the track. I go, unbelievable, her quickest ever, 10.67.